Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video I'm comparing the Intel i5 6600K with AMD's FX9590 and 8350 processors. The pricing of these three CPUs is interesting, two price points being very similar in fact. The one of the i5 6600K and the FX9590. The FX8350 costing a lot less. To be honest, to me that comparison feels a bit unfair, but then again, these currently are AMD's flagship models, even though they were released back in 2012 and 2013. Still, let's see how well these CPUs keep up against each other. Clearly the i5-6600K comes out as winner in almost every aspect. The only times one of the FX processors is better than the i5 CPU is rendering and encoding. And we're talking of the FX9590 here, which costs just a bit less than the 6600K. But other than that, the i5 pretty much slashes the FX CPUs in games. If you ask me, the FX9590 is overpriced in my opinion. You could for instance just get yourself the FX8350, overclock it to the level of the 9590 and voila, you have a much cheaper FX9590. Still that does nothing for the performance situation here when comparing with the i5-6600K. It just gets you a better performing processor for your money. The temperatures and power consumption don't make AMD CPUs look too good either, so let's ignore the FX9590. Left are the 6600K and the 8350. There's a significant price difference here and I don't want to tell you which one of these CPUs you should buy. Just look at my charts and make your own conclusion since I'm fairly sure this video will cause enough fan wars in the comment section already. At this point we all should just hope for AMD to release their rumored Zen CPUs in the future and hope it'll be able to compete with Intel's current Skylake release. Hopefully this video could help you out with your choice or at least made you see the performance differences between these three processors. Stay tuned for more upcoming Skylake videos. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.